Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush and this is another tutorial about the Enscape rendering from the SketchUp Arc Studio. I hope you'll be fine and good. Thanks for your support till now about my channel and let's get to work. So, this is one of the interior renderings and my HDRI is the night mode. So, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can use some options in the Enscape for making your renders much realistic than the past. So, this is one of the office designs i done before and it's with the Enscape Asset Library and the SketchUp 2023. So, uh, I'm gonna click on the Start Enscape in here. It takes a little bit time and it depends on your system and your hardware accelerator. I'm using NVIDIA GTX 916 model 2GB and it's usually working in different type of projects very good so uh, Enscape start for me this project name is the uh, Cooper Gold Office and it's related to the uh, uh, some place in London so uh, it's about the interior designing and the only element in this design is the roof and these modern locker in here. So I designed and 3D modeled all of them with the uh, SketchUp 2022 and this tutorial with the uh, SketchUp 2023. Let's get out of this room and see what happened out of there. As you can see, this is my 3D model. And this is my 8K HDRI. You can download your HDRIs from the uh, HDRIHaven.com. And it's a very good quality in here. As you can see, we have lights, some options like that. And it's on the night mode. So I'm going to press F on my keyboard, as you can see. And now I have my view management. So I'm going to click on the camera number one. And it come back to my main camera shot so i want to check some interior lightings like the uh, self illumination spotlight sphere light and some other things like that but the point is that my rendering quality is on the uh, draft option so when i increase it to the high option as you can see night mode enabled for me and i can see much shadows and darker screen on it so I'm going to show you how you can use some styles in the Enscape. One of the important steps for making realistic render related to the light check. So I'm going to change the mode to the white mode. As you can see, this type of white mode has been enabled for us. And I can see some differences between the white mode and colorful mode. As you can see, it's usually used for override renders. And you can check your lightings with these options too. For example, I'm going to minimize my screen in here, open the Enscape Material Editor, and we have some material called Roof Lights. When I click on it, I can change the type from generic to the self illuminate. As you can see, now we have lights in our screen, very simple and easy. And it's really useful in your interior kitchen designs because you can use it as the hidden light. So another point about that is the uh, you can change the uh, lumion's power very simple and easy. For example, when I move my cursor on the lumion's, I can see some describes about the brightness of the surfaces. For example, LCD monitor can be produce 200 candela of the uh, lumion's power or other things. The normal of it is on the uh, 5000 candela but it's really high value so i'm going to reduce it about some number for example 100 now my lights get much better and i can change the uh, color of lights too for example i want some warm color for this reason i can change the uh, colors to the uh, advanced mode from the uh, standard mode and after that i can come to the yellow bar in here and move this aimer to some colors like that. 
As you can see, we have a little bit difference on our lights. But it's not useful in the rendering because you need some sharp colors. So uh, you can change your color from the standard bar to, for example, I'm going to change it to the width color in the color option and change the texture to the width again. Now we have some warm color in our environment. The next hidden light related to the uh, locker. So I designed some type of hidden lights on my doors in here, as you can see with the gold material. When I click on the cam number one and click on the uh, Inkscape material editor, I can find this light in MDF and change it from the generic to the uh, self-illuminate. Now you can see these hidden lights in here. It's really useful for producing some architectural diagrams about your job and how you pass these steps to reach to some result and value. So, as you can see, I set my locker with these hidden lights and it's really useful in your modern designs. So, uh, I can reduce this power to, for example, on the 100 again. But this time I can change the color completely different. For example, I can change it to some color like the uh, orchid. As you can see, we have this effect on it and it's really useful in our 3D renderings. Or if I want to set this locker with the roof, I can change the roof color. For example, change it to the orchid. Another time orchid. And now we can see this purple lights on the surfaces. What happened when I increased the rendering quality to the ultra? As you can see, when I increase it to the ultra, light calculation and GI information will be improved in the Enscape 3.5. So, in the white rendering, you can use outline to create some differences between the edges and faces. So, I can change this value to the 8% in here and change your exposure from 50% to some person about 56%. The field of view can be improved, but before I check the FOV, I must set my safe frame in here. So, safe frame closed for me in here, and now I can change my settings in the FOV. When I decrease it, actually it's zoom on my project, and when I increase it, we have some white camera shot in here. For example, I want to turn it to the 90 horizontal and come to the output setting and change my general resolution to the custom mode. And now I have some picture, for example, 1440, something like that. Or I can make it reverse, for example, add this number to this place and 1080 to the height. As you can see, very simple and easy, we can create these type of portrait renders with the general resolution. After all of these works, I can click on the main button in here. So, now I can use FOV much better than the past. For example, I can zoom on the project and set some fixed number about 58 and I can change the depth of field for example increase it a little bit and now I want to turn off the autofocus in here so with the focal point I can change the focus distance from the camera lens and the uh, object so when I decrease it as you can see it gets much blurrier and when I increase it, we have some shiny line on our screen. For example, I only want to focus on this woman in here, or I only want to focus on the locker. So the choice is yours, and you can be completely check it for your own opinion. For example, I type 5.44 meter and press enter. Now when I increase the depth of field, all around this object will be get blur and only I can see the object much sharper than the others. But 30% is really artificial and it's not realistic in the 3D rendering. You must use some numbers between 6 and 12. For example, 7%. It's much better than the past. 
At the image bar, I can change my corrections. For example, I want to turn on the auto contrast. Now it's much better. And now I can increase the saturation and color temperature. But before you do this work, I suggested to you to ch come and check your hidden lights again. For example, for this scene, I can change my lights a little bit powerful. For example, convert 100 to the uh, 300 to see what will happen on my screen. And I will do this job for all of my hidden lights in here. As you can see, it is really much better than the past. So uh, I'm going to close it in here. I'm going to come back to my Enscape bar in here. Click on the original setting. Main view is the completely done. Now time for the image. I can change the saturation a little bit to see the purple color on my screen. As you can see when I increase it, look at this place on the render. I can see these differences much than the past. But some number about 116 is really good. And color temperature. I want some warm temperature on my pictures. So I'm going to reduce it a little bit. Something like that. About 5500 Kelvin. And increase the saturation a little bit. About 136. Effect is off. Motion blur is zero because we don't create any type of animation in here. Look at this place in the rendering. When I increase the lens flare, as you can see, we have some shadows and flares near to the lights. So you can increase it to create some artificial renders or you can decrease it and only you have some brightness and shiny surfaces. So I'm going to type series 6 in here. I'm going to reduce the balloon from 15% to the 6% uh, for example. The Vignate is about 10 is good and Chromatic Abbreviation is about 0. Now I can come back to my main bar and change the outlines to the 4 for example. At the atmosphere we don't have anything but artificial brightness can be help us. Artificial light brightness related to the all artificial lights in the landscape. For example, self-illuminated lights, spotlights, sphere lights, IES lights, and other, light, other type of lights. So uh, I'm going to increase this artificial light in here a little bit. For example, 154 is good. And I think everything is good in here. Sky is good. And let's get for the rendering. I'm going to press Shift plus F11 on my keyboard. And save it on the desktop with the JPG format. And call it Override Render. And press Save. As you can see, we create this Override Render. Very simple and easy with the Enscape. All of the rendering engines like the V-Ray, Corona or other things have the override setting. But in the Enscape you can use it much simple and easier than the others. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the final render of it as you can see in here. Thanks for your watching. Thanks for your support. Like this video. Subscribe our YouTube channel. And goodbye.